All right, today we're going to go over our pedicuring slides. So pedicuring is a cosmetic service performed on the feet by a licensed nail technician or cosmetologist. It includes trimming, shaping, polishing toenails, exfoliating skin, and massaging the feet and the legs. So tools and material used during pedicures is equipment. These are permanent tools that are not implements. Implements are used to perform services. Materials are disposable supplies. Products, cosmetic products used during the service. So these items are examples of equipment. Your pedicure stations, your stool and your footrest, a foot bath, your cart. Um, sometimes carts will come with seats on them, you know, to where you can have a drawer underneath to um, keep some supplies in. Other examples of equipment are electric foot mitts, masks, terry cloth mitts, paraffin bath, and hot stones. Um, electric mitts are made for the feet and the shape of the feet, and you can um, put paraffin in the liner and then slide it onto the foot and then apply the mitt um, and let the paraffin mitt um, keep the par uh, let the paraffin which has heat, drive moisture deep into the skin and the mitts will prolong that heat activity. Um, there's different types of masks. They can be clay, um, they can be cream, that don't ever really get hard. They can contain different moisturizers, skin softeners, aromatherapy, botanical uh, extracts, and other beneficial ingredients to clean, exfoli cleanse, exfoliate, tighten, tone, hydrate, and nourish the skin. And then hot stones, um, is an optional choice that sometimes you can incorporate into your pedicure. Other implements are toenail clippers, toenail nippers, a curette, which is pictured here. Um, this is an implement with a small scoop and used to remove the degree, debris from nail folds, the epinicium and the hyponicium. Um, a nail rasp, this is pictured here, um, can be used to shorten the toenails or excuse me, no, it's a metal file used to file only in one direction, so you can't go back and forth. And then, of course, a pedicure nail file and then foot files are used to smooth calluses. With a foot file, I tell my students, you know, on the callus, it's one, two, three, come off. One, two, three, come off. You don't want to continuously scrub in that one area because you can cause a, a trauma to the foot, and it's something we call the ring of fire and it will burn for a couple of weeks. I actually had that happen to me one time and it's not pleasant. So don't overwork a callus. It's there for a reason. Toe separators, um, pedicure slippers, you know, the slippers that you get in a nail salon are meant to get you from the shop to the car. They're not meant to hold up for you to go grocery shopping in. So you might want to recommend to your client that they purchase a, a pair of flip flops to have on use. So some professional pedicure products are foot soaks, exfoliating scrubs, masks, lotions or creams, callus softeners, which usually contain urea, salicylic acid, potassium hydroxide. So these soften um, the area of the callus so you can buff away some of the top layers. We've talked about salicylic acid in our facial um, class and it's a um, alpha beta, uh, beta hydroxy product. It's made from aspirin and it breaks up debris. Um, and potassium hydroxide, we've heard that term before. We've heard it in our relaxing, hair relaxer portion of the program. So that alone, the hydroxide should tell you this is not something you leave sitting on a spot forever because you can cause a chemical burn. So choosing pedicure products, um, you know, you can tailor it to your client's request or there may be a certain line that you're comfortable with and you've used before or one that you're interested in that you would need to get some education to make sure you're using the products properly to get the most out of them. Um, interaction during a service, you need to follow the client's lead. If they're not very talkative and they just want to relax, maybe they just came in from work then don't try to engage them in conversation. If they do 
speak to you, you know, of course you can, you know, respond back, but stay away from controversial topics. Don't be too eager to comment if they share something personal, if they're going through divorce or something else is going on. Uh, you never know who, who knows who, and you could possibly lose another client. So make sure you remain neutral in your responses. Um, scheduling, you know, you'd want to schedule them to come back when you've checked them out from the service. Um, it's that repetitive clientele that keeps your business going. Or if they're having um, an issue and want to reduce some calluses, we can't do that in one setting. So they would need some reoccurring appointments um, to get to um, a level where they're more comfortable with the callus. A callus forms because, you know, if you're a runner, it's the way your weight is distributed on your feet. It's protection um, to keep you from blistering there, causing an ulcer. So if somebody's a runner, really sporty, um, you know, it may just be the distribution of their weight from their gait when they walk. Um, you, know, it's, you know, all we want to do is in smooth and improve the appearance of the callus. We don't need to try to totally get rid of it. Spa pedicures, this exceeds the basic. You can include lower leg massage, a mask, aromatherapy oils, lotions, paraffin, or any other specialty product. Elderly clients need more frequent foot care than others, and many require exceptionally gentle care. Their skin can be very thin and delicate. You also need to, underneath the nail, sometimes that skin will grow onto the nail. So be careful when you're trimming their nails that they don't have that condition because you could cut that skin and again, they're elderly, they could be immune compromised, they could have diabetes or some other issue that maybe their wound healing ability is not that great. So we want to be very gentle. We do not replace a podiatrist. We are not licensed to get ingrown toenails out. We are not licensed to deal with nails that have a condition to where they grow overly thick. They need to see a, podi a podiatrist. Don't let them talk you in to potentially opening them up to infection and treating something that should be handled by a foot physician. Pedicure pricing, you want to determine the uh, price of your basic pedicure and upscale from there. So massage, um, this is a unique, or massage is the manual or me mechanical manipulation of the body by rubbing, gently pinching, kneading, tapping, and other movements, and you can perfect your style. So that effleurage, petrissage, the friction that we talked about, you can chore choreograph your own massage movements. And you'll get your flow, as I like to call it, and it'll become second nature to you. Make sure that you have uh, an ergonomically designed station, you know, that it's made to help you work smarter, not harder, and reduce fatigue and strain on your body. Um, reflexology, this requires a little bit of speciality training, and this is where you are putting pressure on different nerve points that stimulate different areas of the body. Whirlpool foot spas, air jets, pipeless, non-whirlpool, which is just a base in a tub or a foot bath or a bowl. Um, these all have to be properly clean and disinfected. Probably the worst, in my opinion, the most egregious is the whirlpool because it has those jets and as you're using your lotions and potions, that product builds up inside those jets, which they are supposed to take apart and clean daily. You are supposed to be running disinfectant, cleaning out and disinfecting, running disinfectant for 10 minutes behind every client. And we all know that's not happening at a lot of places. Um, and that's why they kind of became a target because they were so susceptible to in spreading infections. Um, one particular is microbacteria microbacterium fatuitum um, and I uploaded some news reports from some women in the Midwest I know this was it's an older newsreel from years ago but there was a series of women suffering infections from this and as you, if you watched you saw a woman sitting on an IV in her home with ulcers in her legs that won't heal um, you can die from it you can get amputations from it so that's why it's so important that you properly disinfect. So the air jets and the pipeless and the basins kind of came back into favor because the whirlpools are so more tedious to properly 
disinfect. So it's important to learn about um, toenail equipment supplies. We need to learn about pedicure in the nail and, and make sure that we're practicing infection control. And of course, any um, other advanced services you, we can get from attending trade shows, um, YouTube videos abound, trade magazines. If you're going to watch YouTube videos, make sure it's a licensed professional. I'm not saying that there's not talented and licensed people out there, but are they demonstrating safety and infection control? So you use your educational background that you worked hard to get and you determine who's the best to take your um, cues from. So just making sure we went through everything. I don't think we missed anything. And thank you for joining me.